Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 29th of August 2022. Early evening here, not a late night Sudoku, still early evening. So uh, I should, I'm should i not too tired. Um, I have I've had a pretty lazy day today watching old uh, television shows uh, that people have uploaded to YouTube and playing music. And so a nice relaxing day for me really. Um, so I should get on with the Los Angeles Times expert level game with plenty of energy, he said, fingers crossed. Shall we get started? Because I've seen the first thing. I've seen sevens blocking down like this. So giving me a seven in that square like that. Um, what else do we have? Well, we have fours over here blocking down like this. So we've got ourselves a four. We have ourselves a one across and a one down. That's nothing to do with crosswords. But then we have ones in these two squares blocking back uh, in a, an east well, eastwards low, um, direction. And that's going to give me a one there. I should probably check these three remaining cells out. What do we have? We are looking for, to, OK, three is a missing number. And immediately I see that three there. So three goes there. We're looking for two and we are looking for eight. Fortunately we've got a blocking two up here so two goes there and eight goes there. We're off to a fast start again. Eight across here, eight down here. Certainly faster than yesterday's game which was a real headache. I think it was a slow start and slow all the way through. That's all I can remember from yesterday. It seemed to be a slog. Every, every uh, game over the weekend was a real slog for me. Five across here, that's a five in that square. Um, like that. Okay, we don't have seven in this column yet, but this seven blocks those three. We have seven blocking here, seven blocking here, so immediately we place our seven there. Uh, oh, I should do this more obvious thing down here. We've got nine blocking down there, so there's a nine, and we can finish off this section of the grid with uh, six. Oh, nice. Six across here, and immediately a six blocking down there, so another one gone. Uh, these three squares must contain two, three, and seven. So we've got sevens over there. We've got oh, two blocking down here, so that's the two. Uh, three blocks here, so that's the three, and that's the seven. This is very neat. I hope I haven't clicked on the wrong game by accident. This is a seven down here. Hopefully this is the expert level game. I have in the past occasionally clicked on the wrong one and played the wrong level by mistake right away to the end and suddenly wondered why it was so easy and it turned out it was the wrong level. Let's hope I haven't done that again. We've completed digit seven already. So as I say, a very fast game so far. We're missing one, two, and four. We've got two and four in the same column, so this has to be a one. And we've also got a bluff. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I've got to undo that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, I see I'm rushing through. I've already got four in this square here. I was not missing one, two, and four. I was missing one, two, and nine. My apologies. Fortunately, I spotted the mistake immediately undid the error and uh, there's a thing for you learners or people who are newbies to the game if you see an error and you can undo it immediately before you do anything else you might be okay if however you don't spot it for a couple of moves it might be best to start again that's the unfortunate truth uh, fortunately no damage done there except to my uh, reputation which I'm not sure <laughs> I care much about anyway if I have one um, two's block in these directions, and that will be a two there. Um, okay, we have twos blocking almost every square in this row. Oh, I say almost every square, of course, we are left with just one, so our two must fit there. Uh, 
we finally slowing down? We, I mean, we ought to. It's supposed to be an expert level puzzle. We normally should be slowing down at this stage. Four blocks up here and four blocks across here. That puts four in one of these two squares, blocking down here, four across here, so that's our four. Four across these two rows and four up here puts a four into that square. Uh, missing from these two squares is uh, six and eight, I think. Okay, so we got the six disallowing that square, so six will go there and eight is here. Right, with our eight blocking up here and eight blocking across here, that puts eight into one of these two squares. Let's extend it that way. Back with this eight blocking across here, eights up like so. That must be an eight. And perhaps now we're going to hit the logic wall. Uh, let's see, what's missing from up here? These three squares must contain one, three, and four. Uh, the four is the only thing we know about. The one and the three we don't know just yet. Down here we are looking for two. Okay, we, no we're not. <laughs> See, I almost did it again. If you ever needed proof that I don't rehearse these games or <laughs> practice them in any way before starting, now you can see it's all true, right? Uh, we need one, we need three, we need five, we need eight. We've got fives in those squares. We've got eights in those squares. But the one and the three has carte blanche at the moment. So that's no good, is it? We are four digits short. In this column, we are lacking three, five, eight, nine. Not quite. Mm -hmm. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Uh, missing from this column is uh, one, five, eight, nine. Quite similar, really. Uh, nope, no good. Missing from this column, although this looks less likely, is one, three. Four, six. Ah, okay, we've got ourselves a six down here, six up here, and a six blocking across here, so that's a six. So uh, we're looking for um, one, three, four. And I just know that the fours are up there, the one and the three, I can't say uh, for sure yet. So, um, right. Right, now would be a good time to click on the digits bit by bit and see what we can get. Because that will open up something like this. Nice easy two to claim up here and then a two blocking down and down here. So that would be a two. Missing digits one and nine here now. 
Uh, and because our 9 blocks across there, that means 9 is in one of those squares. This can't be 9 here. That must be 9. That must be 1. It must be 1, 1, 1. Um, 1 and 3 and 6 missing here. Uh, just got to blocking six. That's all. I'm blocking one here, of course. Ones are there, but one. No, not enough info yet. Um, right. Uh, I'm going to go on this digit troll again. Let's see. Uh, two is actually complete now, so let's try the threes. Uh, definitely not on the fours. Sixes are no good for sure. Sevens are done already. No, nothing on the eights. Nothing conclusive, I should say. Uh, but I think that I've got an eight and nine pair. Let me have another. I think that this. I can. Okay, I can see that this is definitely nines, right? Because nine blocks across here, and I'll, yeah, it is, and eight blocks across here, and eight blocks up there. So this is an eight nine pair here, right? That might be of use. This is eight and nine. So what do we know? We know that one uh, is possible in those squares. Okay. Uh, three is still possible in those squares. And the other missing digit is 5, which might be better, because 5 is now limited to these squares here. Is that going to help? Yes. Uh, so these 5 has to appear in one of these two squares. This can't be 5. We have 5 blocking up here, so this is a 5 here. Then 5, ooh, excuse me, 5 blocking across this row here, and 5 up this column puts a 5 into that square there. So it did help finding that 8 and 9. Uh, how are we doing around here? We're still looking for 1, 3, and 8. And we've got a blocking 8 and the 1 and the 3. No, we still don't know. Hmm. Okay, so it's still not um, giving up its secrets very rapidly. It's still got to look for stuff uh, missing here. But fortunately, I think I found it because I think missing here is a six and a nine. Is that right? No, six or nine. We've got blocking nine there. So nine is in that square. Six is in that square. And now we have six up here and six across there. So six appears there. Our nine blocking across here, across here, excuse me, and nine up there puts a nine into that square, and then the nines blocking up. I think this is going to be enough to finish the game, to be honest with you. It looks quite like it. Nine blocking there, nine blocking there, that's a nine to place. Nine is now complete. Missing digits here and here are three and five. 
nothing across here to give the game away down here this then must be three or five yes something useful okay um oh so i did have something five up there excuse me five goes there three is there i almost made a mistake again the missing digit here is in fact a one and the last number to go here is a three okay so we've got an L shape completed, we just have to deal with the rest up here. We've got a missing digit here, you look like a 3 to me, and you were indeed. Now we have 3 blocking down here and 3 up there, so that's a 3, 3 across here and across here. You're a 3, the last digit up here is a 1. Um, so 1 across here, 1 up here, and of course we've got to fill in a 1 here, so 1 blocking up there. That has to be a 1, and now we can just finish off that column with a 4. And the 4 blocking across here puts a 4 there, and a 3 will finish that. Um, what's missing from here and here? It's a 5 and an 8, and we still can't tell. How about that? So if this is 5 and 8, then this would have to be 5 and 8 as well. And it can't be 8, can it? So it must be 5. That must be 8. This must be 5, and just one digit missing across this row, which is a 1. Uh, this 1, of course, blocks that square there, so 1 appears here. The last number there is an 8, and an 8 finishes the grid, I think. Okay, very fast. Now, I'm going to have to go back and check uh, that it was, in fact, an expert level game that I was playing, because I may have clicked on the wrong link by mistake. If if uh, you, you will have known because I will have readjusted the uh, title at the beginning if it's not an expert level. But if it said expert level at the beginning of this video, then you know that it actually was. Uh, okay, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.